In December 89, Teddy discovered that publishing royalties had allegedly been emptied by manager Gene Griffin, who had sole authority to withdraw funds from Teddy's account. A loss of $2 million for the last two years was estimated. If there was an internet out then, it would have been over all over the velvet rope. It could have happened to me, but I had, I had people that was watching out for me, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying, like, I think his experiences that happened before him that just helped me become a better businessman as well. My self-esteem, everything was just low. It was like gone. I would stay in bed and just eat potato chips, thought I was going to get fat. I didn't get fat. I just had a cholesterol problem, went to the doctor. <laughs> you eat too much cholesterol. One song kept me in the music industry, and that was I Don't Want to Fall in Love. That record pulled me through. And when I did that record, I, I, I did something that I felt like I couldn't do again. So I said, if this record doesn't make it, then I quit the music industry. And it went from the streets to the rooftop to the clubs and places that I never thought that this record was going to climb. So I started just doing stuff like that. The I don't want to fall in love. And then it just running that line. And then I thought it was just going to be a pop record. It was just God saying, you, you can't leave this business. And there's another song. It's time to make that change. Well, it's time to make that change. People of the world today are fading. In 1990, Riley filed a $10 million lawsuit against Griffin, alleging fraud, extortion, and racketeering. They settled out of court, and Teddy and Guy are released from their contract. Leaving the messy breakup behind, Guy presses on to the future, their sophomore album. reacted to you now since when you first became guy and now they go crazy don't they well if they well the way it looks they like us and we're grateful for that you know we're glad that they appreciate our music mm -hmm. and us at the same time you are being such a modest fellow but i no, know you really well, sincerely mean that though I, I do and you've gotten a lot of support from the fans yeah two three kick it People keep dissing for, for Jerry Curls back in the day with Teddy Riley and everybody, especially Aaron. That was some Jerry Curl all on his face. I thought it was sweat. No, it was Jerry Curl. But we love you, Teddy Riley. So when are the rest of y'all gonna go ball? I'm gonna do it for the third album. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not gonna ever do it unless I do it. Anything, I'm joking. <laughs> Damon don't get no tattoos. He don't get no ball head. He don't. He's, he's curl for life. Damon, no. he's S curl. <laughs> He gonna get an S curl. He gonna be sponsored by S curl. He gonna be sponsored by S curl. Jam, oh jam. Even though the album was a commercial success, the group breaks up in 1991 due to creative differences, leaving millions of their fans devastated. Every song on there will explain our life and what we were going through from I want to get with you all the way to let's stay together. If you listen to it, let's stay together was the end of our life and us asking each other, let's stay together.
know y'all remember that song. Brings about, back a lot of memories, you know, with Guy and just the whole impact on people. I'm so sorry that, you know, what happened with us breaking up and how that happened basically was, it was just a tragedy of our ex-manager.